Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this new figure unboxing and review we're going to be looking at the Legacy Wreck and Rule Collection Spindle figure. That's right, for this video we're just going to solely focus on Spindle and Impactor will be uploaded separately. So what we're going to do, we're going to unbox him in a second, have a look at the entire contents of the packaging. We'll then have a detailed look at him in both of his modes to help you decide how you want to display him. We can of course do some comparisons with him and some other figures that have shared the same mould. And although this is just the spindle video, we will still be doing the combination and how he builds and fixes together with Impactor to look as good as we expect him to. So before we open it up, two things. One, I need to thank Hasbro Pulse because that's where I brought this from. And as you can see, they got him to me nice and safely. And two is to have a look at this beautiful, beautiful box art. We can obviously see spindle there impactor on this side it's fantastic art and it's just it really does make it feel a little bit more special which of course is what they're saying that they are both figures in here should be deluxe class and we're fully aware that this guy is a fossilizer which also means he can be parts formed so we'll have a look i imagine he'll be in, in one particular piece but i imagine some of his accessories are going to be in the tissue so let's pull this out there we go as you can see he's fully tied in there we need to separate the bits from there and the instructions and the piece of the hammer will come out in a second so join me back in a sec and i'm just going to set him free okay so what this is this is a bit of a bonus just in case any of you are buying this figure individually because lots of people are buying the sets and selling the figures loose individually so you want to make sure you've got all the parts to him because there's quite a few so you've got the main jaw with the robot head there you've got the bottom of the jaw and the start of the spine you've got the chest piece you've got a part of the spine there you've got the main body bit which has these two arms which you can see can come detached you've got the main two leg bits which have also got the two additional parts where you can put the two feet into that as well you've then got the main spine at the back and then of course you've got the end of the tail so this is just in case you are buying him by himself you want to make sure that you do have all of these bits and of course they do all fit together okay on to first impressions then okay then so built back up and as you can see looking really good now at this point i'd normally do some um, articulation with the first impressions but there's not much point doing that you've already seen it's a parts former so the articulation is pretty much unlimited because you can build it up however you want it's so so crazy and I, I initially again i wasn't really fond of these but the whole concept of them now i think just works so the head sculpt itself though is brilliant there's some lovely blue inside there for the detail on the eyes bit of silver there on the chin as well silver spikes on the top of that and around the teeth the color scheme is just fantastic it really does go of course with the new um, impact to figure that we've got here so the color scheme just match really really well to be honest um what else is there there's obviously got the jaw there of the spinosaurus now of course it is a completely uh, misproportioned out of proportion uh spinosaurus which we're gonna have a look at in a second but some things to be aware of is mine tends these tend to come out quite easily i don't know if it's just mine um as you can see i just spun it around and it fell out there um otherwise it's a great figure i like the color scheme i do like the fossilizers now there's the lovely detail of the Wrecker Autobot logo there you can see reflecting um, and of course you've got the tail bit here which you can choose to use as a club or whatever which we'll have a look at in a second so what we're going to do now then we're going to come back and he's going to be in his alternate mode and we can have a look at that version okay then we're back and as you can see in the alternate mode which is an attempt at a spinosaurus um and honestly this is quite tricky to do this apologies for no transformation process on this video um it will be uploaded separately and the main reason for that is to keep the length of the video down and also is not to spoil it for you guys if you don't want to see it and you want to experience it for the first time um it's again it's out of proportion but it's still funny it's crazy it, the thing that's the tricky bit is attaching all this around the center but you can sort of make out where everything was of course these were the arms these were the long arms as well you've got the tiny little legs which were these parts here um articulation wise again there's not much point showing you because it's everything it's all the way around it's out to the side it's every joint you've pretty much got a double knee joint because this will fold over as well 
The little arms, of course, will move. You can see that we've got the old face part there, which, funnily enough, is typically has just come off. This is held in by two clips, you can see at the bottom there. Uh, of course, the jaw opens up as well. The original robot head is covered there. Um, and again, the colour scheme with it just works. And the fact that it is so flexible, it is so articulate, and it is so, I suppose, crazy. It's just... It's one of the maddest things I think I've ever seen, especially in this particular colour scheme. It just really works. Again, articulation on the neck if you want, up and down, all around. You can just position it however you want to. Um, yeah, and it's again, I suppose you can't say it's like nothing you've ever seen before because, of course, of Paleotrex and the fact that this is pretty much the fourth use of this mould, which we're going to see and do a few more comparisons with in a second. I suppose one more thing I can quickly do is, again, just put him with the impactor that's been released with this set because you can just see how well the colour scheme matches together. But there's a quick look at the alternate mode. We're going to come back right now. He's going to be back in his robot mode. We're going to do some comparisons with the other, um, I say, uses of this mould. And then finally, we're going to do some combinations with him and impactor. There we go then. Okay then, back for the final time with him in his robot mode. Main reason, this is the way that I'm going to choose to be displaying him. So there's just a couple of things that we can do now. And that is, of course, have a look at what we can do with the accessories. So you can use it, I suppose, as a club. And if you're lucky, you can get it to balance in one of the hands. See what I mean about these? They do keep coming out. Maybe it's, no, maybe, I don't know. I was going to say maybe it's me or maybe I'm being a bit rough. I don't think so. And again, it's a new toy, so it's not got the um, overplayed with factors. So you can sort of grab it there if you want to. You can put it anywhere on there. And again, don't forget that you can configure this however you want. This is just how they've got the picture of the robot mode on the back of the box, which you can see there. And that's pretty much, as I say, how I'm going to choose to display it. You can see there, obviously, that it do come apart way, way more pieces than that. And that's exactly why I did what I did at the beginning. Now, you can also, as well, I'm sure you can store this somewhere at the back. Yep, there you go. So if you open up the jaw, see there's a little cut out there. There's a little tab on that side. So you can just tab it in the back if you want. To be honest, I don't know if that's... Would it make it any better? It's quite hard enough to... To get them to stand up anyway because of course of how out of proportion they are right so let's do some i suppose let's do some comparison so this is the original owner of the mold there we go and that's how they started it off now i can't remember which came first in all honesty um was it a transmutate or was it uh the megatron thing but either way let's have a look at them all lined up next to themselves I think, to be honest, it was the Megatron one next. So if I can get this to stand again, I've just jinxed myself by saying that they're awkward to stand anyway. And of course, as you can see, it doesn't really help with carpet. Right, do you know what? There we go. That'll do for now. And then, of course, the other one, as I've already said, Skelivor that came with the Megatron pack is the other version of this particular mould. <laughs> I'm going to keep that in. I don't care. I'm going to get them to balance as well. Watch me. I'm determined. Let's move that out of the way. Again, crazy concept, crazy colour scheme. What I think I'm going to try and do is build up one of them into, I don't know what. They, they can do whatever they want, can't they? Some of the things, you need to check out T-Formers actually. T-Formers always showcase um, viewers with some amazing, amazing ideas what to do with these. But there you go. There are all of the uses and slight retools of this mould so far. And again, I think they're brilliant. I think they look great. I'm going to end this part of the video here now, though. Um, just stay tuned for the final bit where, of course, we're going to get and we're going to combine them with Impactor to see exactly one of the main reasons why you purchase this set. Here we go, then. OK, then. So here we go. What we're going to do, we are going to combine these guys up. And although the videos we've been watching is just based on the one figure, this is the best part about it. I've loved both figures. I think they're both great and I think they could both sell individually in their own right. 
but this is a twin pack and this is i suppose where the fun really starts so what we can do is combine them and again the fossilizers have completely bowled me over at the moment so what we've got and i'm just going by the instructions here and of course there are loads of other fan-made modes which in honesty i'm going to try and attempt to do when i get a bit more time but what we've got first and foremost is the large part which is going to come over his back so you can see this is pretty much spindles uh, legs and bottom part of the torso we've got a little adapter there so let's spin this round there is a hole at the back and i wonder if it's going to fit it's going to fit it's going to be a bit tight because remember these are new toys and they're not really that well played with right that's probably going to counterbalance him for now so what i'm going to need to do is I'll rest him against the box, even though we'll probably knock it over. And then this is the giant club, which has been made up pretty much of spindle spine, neck right up into the head. And then this is going to be, again, a giant, giant, ridiculous. Just looking at it is insane. I've just knocked the camera trying to reach around because these are so big. Right, that's counterbalanced it perfectly. Let's move the box out of the way so you can see. There you go. We've also got the neck, head and jawbone, which again is going to be another club. Like so. Let's pop that in there. And then we've got the face part or bottom of the dinosaur part. This is going to be a mini shield up on there which wow it just looks ace it just looks ace who thought of these who thought of doing these ridiculous things the color schemes just make it work it just it really does make it pop and as i say if you wanted to before he falls over we've still got his normal weapons so let's pop this tiny one here on the side let's bring this over and again if we wanted to we can pop this in the sh and in the forearm there as well or move the shield and try and do something else and again you can just keep adding things to it and i've managed to get that to balance even on carpet absolutely stunning just again crazy crazy ideas great two pack great color scheme great concept cannot wait for wave two there's got to be a wave two let me know what you think if you already ordered yours if you already got yours um and are you a fan of the fossilizers as well because initially i 100 percent wasn't and i've ended up going back and buying them all let me know what you think guys take care Thanks for watching, like and comment, and don't forget to subscribe.